Hey all, Bob here, aka Mr. Reef Safe, and today I'm answering the question of the week. This week's question is twofold. Why are coral prices so high, and do you think that they will come down? Okay, so these are loaded questions, and I have what might be considered a loaded answer. First, why are coral prices so high? I really don't think that they are so high. I think that some of the uh, shall we call them the fad corals, the designer corals, the name game corals? Yeah, I think those are high in price, but I really don't think that uh, that is anything other than the market picking, them up, picking up on what people want. People spend money on the corals that seem to be the fad of the month, and of course the market is going to capitalize on that. Uh, there are a lot of corals, however, that are much, much cheaper. One such example is the Montipora digitata. I started keeping these over a decade ago, and actually they've come down in price since I started keeping them. I believe my first frag was about $30 to $40. Now I can find frags of Montipora digitata for as low as $10. They're not as flashy as some of the other corals that demand higher prices, but you can easily get a purple digitata for about $10 for a fairly nice size frag. Of course, there's also other colors. There's green, orange, and a few different morphs of red digitata. I can tell you from first-hand experience, these look amazing up close and from a distance. Some of the more expensive corals that are very colorful and vibrant up close from across the room just have a drab, brownish looking color. Don't underestimate the cheaper corals. Some of them have really nice coloration, they grow quickly, and they're a great way to frag off and give to people and make friends in this hobby. So the second part of this question is, do I think they'll come down? And that's where my answer gets a little loaded. I'm not sure that the price of corals should come down. Now, corals that are easily fragged, that grow quickly and are easy to propagate, of course those are gonna come down. Even the more expensive ones are gonna come down. However, the ones that can't be fragged as readily, that grow very slow, they probably will not come down. They'll probably go up in price. And I kind of think that's a good thing. Our hobby needs a little bit of control. Frankly, newer hobbyists that aren't ready to handle those more expensive corals because of, of how difficult they can be to grow and take care of shouldn't be jumping in and getting those. So I think the price point for those actually should be high. It's a little frustrating when I go to the store and I find something I want and it's several hundred dollars. I have to decide, do I want to put my time and money into this coral? Of course, I do have some expensive corals and I actually think about the corals I'm gonna buy. Some expensive corals I've bought, I have not been able to keep well. And so when I go out to buy one, I think, do I really wanna replace a coral that's gonna cost me several hundred dollars? Probably not at this time, but maybe in the future I will wanna do that. And I don't really mind the price. If it's something I want, I'm going to pay the price as long as it's within reason. So should coral prices come down? I'm one that thinks no, that they should not. Uh, I also don't think, as the first part of the question, why are they so expensive? I don't think that really the cost of corals have gone up that much. I think it's kind of kept with the market value. Uh, of course, we can keep corals that we couldn't keep a decade ago. And I think that's why we're seeing this. We're seeing a lot of the, the name corals going up in price because reasons. And if you look around, you can find it from other hobbyists. You can find it at stores. There are a cheap section of corals. Go to the coral shows. You'll find corals at $10 a piece. They may not be the exact corals you want or what you've seen on Instagram or Facebook, but they are some amazing looking corals. Check them out. What do you guys think? Have the prices of coral gone up too much? Are they too high? Should they get higher? Should they stay where they're at? Let me know in the comments. This is Bob, AKA Mr. Reef Safe, with the question of the week.